Welcome to the journey of self. This is your coach, Mehna Samjad. And in this particular series, my intention is to assist you with awareness and knowledge so that you learn to deal with the challenges of life the right way. Right way. The title of our session today is Label it, What is the Problem? Do you know one of the most effective way to solve a problem actually begins by giving it a name. Most of us are not aware, but this is a proven scientific method to get a grip on your problem. It may not really solve your issue, but it will help you and keep you away from the constant negative thoughts which automatically start the moment we find ourselves into a crisis. Let me share an example with you from my own life. Seven years ago, when my father was first diagnosed with a heart ailment and was suggest suggested an angio procedure, I stood there in the hallway of that hospital completely confused as to what was going on around me. There were millions of thoughts passing through my head, mostly negative, and I quickly sank into a deeply anxious and a stressed state, randomly thinking all sorts of things that could go wrong without any solution or a way out of it. It took me it took me a while to collect myself and arrive at the decision or perhaps even inquire further. This was a state of my mind and I wish I knew this method at that point in time. But unfortunately, since I didn't knew, my body went through this whole ordeal, which in a way was quite traumatic. And if you are a highly sensitive person, just like me, you may also perhaps experiencing a very similar emotions and a stressful state. So in our session today, I would like to teach you a technique that I learned as a cognitive behavior therapist during my course of the certification. This will help you not to really get into a deep state of stress or anxiety. And it's one of the most effective ways through which you can stay focused in the most challenging of times. My intention here is to help you not get into that stage or that state of mind that I was in, where you are way too exhausted. Instead, learn a method which will help you give a grip on your problem. So, a very simple way of doing this is to label your issue. So, let's say, just like me, if you are into a situation, a scenario, or a very difficult, challenging circumstance, what you could do is, if you, if you like to write, you can write. If not, just focus on this one particular question, which is, what is the problem? When you focus on this, what really happening here is, our brain, as per the neuroscience, since we all have the tendency to think, tendency to think more negative than the positive, and at the same time, our brain does not have the capacity to think two things or two thoughts intensely at the same time. So when we use this question method, label our problem or to focus on that, automatically our brain is brought out of the mess or chaos we might easily slip into when we are in a difficult situation, the way I was. Confused, struck, stressed, almost like thinking all sorts of things. With this one question, 
either you write it or you just simply ask yourself you automatically bring a halt to the other chaos that is bound to happen and your focus become narrow and you start your brain in fact while you're doing this your brain start to focus stay focus on this question of what is the problem with this one simple question you kind of put a break both to your racing heart and your thoughts and whatever the answer comes up this fraction of time it could be few seconds or not or so will help you get a grip on your problem and will save your body from not entering into a deep state of stress which is not at all good and may manifest into other challenging issues later on so friends the call to action so friends the call to action is any time you find yourself in a situation where you are completely confused and you find yourself extremely anxious and stressed out just take three deep breaths and ask this question yourself if you prefer to write write it down what is the problem and you will see that within few seconds your breath will return to normalcy and your mind starts to look for answers on the questions that you the question asking which is what is the problem and it starts to label it this is one of the most effective method to not find a solution but to not enter into a deep state of stress and anxiety that's all for today I hope you remember this and practice it and perhaps even share it with someone who you think can benefit from it. Thanks once again and I'll talk to you soon.